Hey, this is Mike, and just want to take a couple of minutes here and show you how quick and easy it is to create these type of photo videos with Articulate Replay. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to grab my images. If you've got your folder with your images already organized and everything's in order, you can go ahead and you can grab the entire folder or a whole range of those. Obviously, you can also do them one by one. Uh, that's just personal preference and, and depends on what images you have and, and how they're organized. So I'm just going to grab that whole set and I'm going to pull them in. They just come right in here. Now I've got about 15 or so images in here. The next thing I can do here is I can adjust the timing and duration of each of these images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these. I'm just going to click on the first one. I'm going to click shift here. I'm going to move these just to give myself a little bit of, of space to work with. So I can click and drag any of these images and position them on the timeline wherever I want them to go. Um, the other thing we can do is if you want to adjust the duration, you can just go to either the left or right edge. We can click and drag that and we can work with the durations there as well. Another cool thing is maybe one of these came in in the wrong order and instead of having this as the third image in my video, maybe I want to move that ahead. So I can just drag that ahead and if there's space, notice I, I bump that up in front of uh, this slide. So you can just drag those forward and backwards as long as you've got enough space for them to fit. So you can kind of see how that works. I can jump that all the way up to the front as long as there is enough available room. The other thing we can do is maybe I forgot or I need to make an update or something like that. I'm going to go back and grab maybe this sort of a menu slide here. And by default, they're going to come in at the end of timeline A, but like we saw, we can easily move those forward and put those anywhere we want. So that's really a pretty handy trick to be able to do. And if I get this arranged, now I want this slide all of these forward to integrate here and you can see a difference so between this slide and this one notice it's just sort of that straight up and down uh, dividing line so that just means it's going to be a uh, abrupt change so you can see that there it's pretty abrupt whereas you notice the rest of these here have got that slanted dividing line and that's going to give us that nice smooth fade transition so just depends on uh, personal preference there. The way you can do that is just by dragging that following slide as far left as it'll go and you'll see you can control the transition that you want here whether it is abrupt or that smooth fade. So that's how you can kind of adjust the timing and duration of your elements. Works the same for any other elements in here. Uh, one of the other elements that is really handy to work with are the lower thirds. So let's say I'm going to put a lower third here at the beginning. Now these are just sort of semi-transparent overlays that are laid right over top of your video. So let's just say uh, this is my title here, Got a subtitle. If you want to add a logo you can do that easily as well. And we'll just do a quick preview here. We can see there comes my lower third right in there. You can kind of see what that's going to look like. And again, same as we saw with our media, we can drag that for timing, go to either of the edges and adjust the duration there as well. If you've got any narration or maybe you want a background audio track, we can easily do that from the sound menu here. So there I've got a narration that can go along with this. Again, everything's going to come in here to the back of track A. I'm just going to drag that down, bring it forward so I can get it synced with my images on track B. And then the other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to trim that. I don't need all of that extra time of, of audio. So now I've got my audio duration matching the rest of the duration of my content. And then once you've got all your elements in there, you can time those and nudge those around and get everything just the way you want it. And then when you've got it all set, all you got to do is hit the publish button. 
and that's going to generate a nice looking uh, compressed mp4 file and you can save that wherever you want and then those can be used in your e-learning courses you can upload those to YouTube or other video sites on the web you can use those just about any way you can imagine and that's it that's how fast and easy it is to create photo videos using replay if we take a quick look at what that looks like we can see there's our lower thirds as a title and these are just a sequence of images that we timed and uh, synced with any audio narration and that makes a really nice looking video and it's super quick and easy.